Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a group box dynamically. So to create a group box dynamically, basically you have to create it with code and we have to set the properties and the events via, via the code. So we're going to be creating a group box dynamically inside of this panel via, via this um, ba um, button. So let's start by doing that. Create a variable. We'll call it then group box of type T group box. Okay. Then we say then group box colon equals T group box dot create. And then this, this create constructor basically is going to create this group box and it wants an owner in the brackets so an owner is responsible for destroying the component and we want the form to be, to be responsible for destroying it so when the form is destroyed then the um, form will also destroy this component now let's give it a parent we want to set the parent equals to the panel panel name is this so that's it because we want um, the group box to appear on the panel and thus the parent oops should be um, the panel okay so also you can read this um, if you want this is the difference between an owner and a parent you can pause the video and the video and read this And let's continue. Then group box. Like you can see, you can set all of these properties for it now. All, all of these properties and events and stuff, and use them. But let's just do some stuff. Let's start by aligning it to the left. Al left. Then group box store. Let's do the width property. A width of let's say two hundred. Okay, and then let's give the caption group box dot caption colon equals say group. Let's add um, counter by count. Let's make sure the counter is set to zero when the when the form is created. Colon equals zero. Then every time the person um, clicks this button, we'll just increase the I count. So you have to say group box plus I count dot to string. Okay, so far if we compile it, then this will happen. So it actually creates different group boxes and just give it a name here. Three, two, one. Now it now now that now there's a four, a five, and a six. Let's say we want um, it to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 instead, instead of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just basically, the, the, the easiest way to do this is just to say group box dot, oops, dot left and give it a, a really big number such as this. So if you compile, it will um, do it like this because basically the left. Um, property here is that, is that big number and the form does clearly doesn't have that big number so basically group box is inserted like way far to the right and it just aligned to, aligns to the left so you can just do this if you want okay, let's increase the font size font dot size we make it 20 and hmm Yes, you can even uh, give it a random color to different group boxes. Okay, so let's give it a ran random color. So say I color of type integer. And then here we just say randomize. Let's say the I color equals to random. And this will be some number. 
okay and then we set it then group group box dot color to this random color yes okay, so now it now it will have different color oops nope because you must also do the then let's do it here then group box dot has actually disabled the parent Ooh. We must disable the parent background boolean, make it false, and then it will work. As you can see, that now the different group boxes are different colors. Okay, that works now. And we can actually make this a scroll box. Oops. Scroll box. Okay, line to client, and then we set the parent to the scroll box, scroll box one. And I can actually scroll to the okay, let's also go to the scroll box and just uh, enable the tracking. And let's create some of these. Now you can actually see all of them. Okay, I think it's not tracking it is. Look, I I oh not vertical scroll, I meant the horizontal scroll bar. We enable the tracking on that. And now you can actually oops like scroll through the different crew boxes here, which is kind of nice. You can add more to it. And then also scroll to those new ones. That's really nice. So let's add events to it. Let's give it an on click event for the, for the group boxes. So when you click on it, it will just display us the name and the color. Okay. So let's do that. Go to public, public, public declarations, and let's give it a procedure. We'll say, um, then group box click sender the object okay, and then in the implementation we say procedure the form home and here we just basically show me okay, let's actually create variables for this to make it easier okay uh, let's say is color and is text or caption of type string okay so the is caption is easy the caption will be the sender as the group box dot caption and the is color will be um, color to string Sender as the group box dot color. Okay, that's quite easy. And now we just show message it. Show message the caption is let's say is caption plus and the uh, color is plus is color that will actually work now you have to um, set this procedure to the dynamic um, group box so then group box dot on click event we set that equals to the group box click procedure Let's compile and get some group boxes. And now we can click on this one. So the caption is group box one, and the color is that. This one is group box six, and the color is that. Same goes for all about that. All of the other ones. So that works. So this is basically how to create a group box dynamically. 
And if this so, thanks for so watching, guys. And if this video helped you in any way, then please make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, um, like it, share it, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.